I'm Sue Wareham and I've been involved in disarmament for over four decades really, ever since the um, days of the when the peak movement was probably at its um, at its height in, in about the early 1980s, which is when I got involved in the nuclear disarmament movement. And I've been involved ever since, not just on nuclear disarmament, but um, um, opposing, opposing wars generally, not from a strictly pacifist stance, but just recognising that war is a, a human disaster, it's a health disaster, it's a disaster from whichever perspective one looks at it. My faith is a Christian faith and my practice of belief is um, is very simple and straightforward. I, I take the elements of Christ's teaching and to me they form a pretty good basis for action. I haven't come across um, anything, uh, anything better, um, although I say that in full knowledge that all the, all the faiths of the world have, have an enormous amount to offer and we need to need to find commonalities rather than points of difference with other people and people of other beliefs. So my belief is basically that we all have a responsibility to do the best that we can in this world and to make the world a little bit better for other people and for those who follow on from us. The motivation was certainly the prospect of nuclear war as it was for a lot of people. And the, the concept, concept which I, I couldn't reconcile that on the one hand in medicine we do everything that we can to save a, a particular um, person or to bring good to a person's life to make them, um, to improve their welfare. And yet on the other hand, here are these weapons um, in which Australia was uh, and still is to some extent complicit, which um, whose purpose is to kill as many people um, as possible in one instant, maybe hundreds of thousands, may maybe millions. And it was impossible to reconcile those two, not just from a health perspective, but also from an ethical perspective um, and didn't tie with my religious beliefs, my Christian beliefs. Um, and so wh whatever perspective one came at it from um, in terms of looking at nuclear weapons, um, it was, uh, everything was just uh, wrong. One, one couldn't reconcile um, these, these things at all. Um, and then once one starts to look at nuclear weapons, then one starts to examine um, other wars which um, thus far since 1945 have not been a nuclear war, but one looks at uh, the impacts of armed conflict generally uh, on people around the world. So I worked in general practice in Canberra um, uh, in, in Canberra for over three decades. Um, so most of my working life has been in that one-on-one -on -one relationship with people in general, uh, general practice. But now my work is um, significantly with the Medical Association for Prevention of War, which in, um, includes health professionals from um, all, all parts of the health sector and we work to reduce the impact of armed conflict on people and we work particularly for the abolition of nuclear weapons. Well the nuclear submarines um, is just a, a symptom of this whole ongoing problem of our alliance with the United States and more or less doing whatever is perceived to be in the United States' interest. Australia's neighbours, especially Indonesia, are deeply concerned about the prospect of nuclear submarines for Australia uh, and the possibility of an arms race within our region. And they're concerned for, for very good reason, because the nuclear submarines are highly destabilising, provocative, um, and they are a very significant nuclear weapons proliferation risk. And this has been recognised by experts around the world. And as we speak right now, the Non-Proliferation Treaty Review Conference um, is being held during August. And um, this issue is going to come up there. The extent to which Australia acquiring nuclear powered submarines, which, will, which we which we're told are going to be fueled with highly enriched uranium, which is nuclear bomb fuel, what is that going to do to the non-proliferation regime? And the answer is it's, it's going to be very, very bad in terms of nuclear weapons proliferation. So our neighbours are deeply concerned.